Hi, I thought I would do a quick tutorial about um, the blue flame. Where is it? Here. Um, so, in the, this new combustion solver in Maya in the Bifrost graph, um, one of the aspects of this higher level of physics they're using is that you can now sort of access and render out this blue flame part of a you know of a fire. Um, in this video, uh, they talk about you know where it's stored and how you can access it, but I haven't seen anything about rendering it out. Um, I've come up with a sort of way of doing it. I'm not 100% sure it's the right way or the most cost-effective render-wise, but it does sort of work. So I thought I'd share it with you. Um, so this was one of the ones I got working. Um, so you can see we've got some blueness there and blue bits up here and some mixes in. Um, so let's just stop that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use uh, a existing example from the Bifrost browser. Uh, I'm just going to go into Fire and use Flame Torch and just import that. So um, I'm not going to change much here um, apart from. I'm just going to add a cache node in between the solver and the material. So let's just do that, move it out of the way. So, cache. Um, so just plug that in there, and then plug that in there. Um, you might find you'll get this, um, and this is erroring. Um, I'm not entirely sure why it does this. I think what happens is that when you plug something into one of these outputs, it sort of defines what data type it is. And then when you change this by adding this file cache, you slightly change the flow of data and it errors. Um, so what you need to do is just delete that and then just reconnect it and it should be all fine. Um, and if you have that problem with almost anything in the graph, you know whether it's to do with error or any other aspect of an output, and it does do that, it's worth deleting it and reattaching it. It sometimes sorts it out, pretty much sorts out most of the time. Um, so, uh, I've just got a need to, I won't bother navigating to that, I'll just copy and paste my file structure that I've already got there. Uh, so that's now set to right mode. There we go. Okay, so we've got a file cache in there. Um, and let's close this now. So if we zoom in a bit to this and hit play, should just do normal sort of flame. Yeah, it's good. Right, so turning on the uh, blue flame aspect and getting that out. So if you go to the aero combustion settings, there is a attribute called store blue flame um, and if I just add a watch point here so this is everything that's coming out of the arrow this is all the data we're getting um, and if I just select that again let's move back over here you'll notice when I turn this on we're gonna get a new attribute here uh, which is thinks about it. Dun, dun, dun. No, a funny turn. Can I rewind it? Give it a rewind. So I'm just going to rewind that. I have to sort of recompile it. There we go. Um, so let's go back to this so we just can see it going on and off um, so off this is what it is beforehand and if you look here we're gonna get a new one called voxel combustion rate and this is where that blue flame is stored um, so we just want to access that in our shader so how I went about it was, if I just delete this backdrop now, remove watch point. There we 
go. Um, so how I went about it was I went assign material, so I make a new material. And I'm just going to plug the output of that into that one, like so. And then I'm going to go to my hypershade and under Arnold shaders, it's going to make a new AI standard volume. I'm just going to call that blue. Like so. And then I'm just going to middle mouse that in. And connect that to the volume material there. So we've got the output that into volume material, and then I'm just going to connect that to my output. So I've got a new output of that flame. Um, so let me just minimize this for a moment, minimize that. Um, so you can see it's there, not much is happening to it. Um, let's hit rewind. So that's that one. This is this one, which might call that blue so we know which one it is. And this one we deleted earlier, I'm just gonna get rid of that. And that one's the sphere. Let's get rid of that. I'm just gonna call that sphere. So we know what these different if objects are. And I'm just gonna call this one flame. Right. So um down here I've got my show or turned off Dago objects so we can see our render materials. So that's my blue one. So at the moment this is the default uh settings for the volume which aren't correct for the Bifrost graph. Um I'm just gonna delete these. Don't need these. Uh heat, don't need that. Um all I need to do is put that attribute that we created with our blue flame which is called voxel combustion rate if I remember correctly so I'm just going to go voxel underscore combustion rate enter uh, this black body client is super high I'm just going to put that down to one um, and do -do -do -do. That should be, oh, I'm just going to put this also in the density, otherwise it won't have any alpha. Um, as you can see, it went a bit black there. Um, I'm going to put that down to 0.1, something like that. And actually, I put that in the wrong one. Is that the wrong one? I think I actually wanted it in emission. Let's try that. And then just change that to a blue color. So, is that, is that working? Um, and change this to channel. There we go. So, just to run through that again, I've got the voxel combustion rate and a bit of density. Um, as you can see, it's you don't need much of it, but it slightly will help with the alpha. Um, and then in the emission, I put it in there, change that to channel, and you know we can crank actually that one's a high as you can have on that so it just goes down um like so i'm not sure if i put it into the temperature if it makes any difference um let's have a look so that gets rid of it there but i don't think it does anything here so we can just get rid of this i think let's put that back to one and put that back to one so um, if I now hit play, just double check that I am. Um, I might just put hit L to sort of lay this all out again a bit better. I'm just going to get rid of these backdrops, I don't need them. So we've got in the combustion settings, store flame turned on, crashing it out, and set to right, and I've got two materials and I've got two outputs. And I am outputting the flame flame and the blue flame. So let's hit play and see what happens. So as you can see, we've got 
both of them there on top of each other. Play it out. Um, in the viewport, you will get this sort of flashing because I think it's a. Uh, uh, the viewport's having trouble reading the two different materials and it's sort of jumping between the two so you get a sort of bit of a flashing going on um, but it renders okay so I hit that and that play stop that now I'm just going to change this uh, once it stops escape on the keyboard yep yeah. um, just change this back to read so there we go right so now we have, uh, if I set the blue flame and I isolate that, you see we've got this blue flame, which is using the combustion rate, and then we've got our normal flame, get rid of that. Um, I could just do this. See, we've got these two different flames. Um, and if I go into the material for the flame torch material, which is there, uh, I might chip, drop this down to like one, maybe even 0.5, no, 0.9 is good, I'll just leave it like that. Um, so I'm just going to make a light, oh, just for quickness, I'm just going to do a physical sky. And let's have a look at the render. Having a render view. That looks a bit weird. What's going on there? Oh no, open render view. Ooh, okay. Oh, maybe because of that. Let's just delete those from a previous thing I was doing. Play. I'll pause it while it thinks about it. So you can see I've rendered that out. Um, and we're getting this nice blue flame at the bottom here and it sort of goes out into that. Um, but, so as we're saying, I mean, you are basically rendering it out twice. Um, it's a blue and the red flame. I don't know whether that's the correct way to do it, but it seems to work. Um, from a point of view of rendering this out and then bringing in something else and compositing it, um, if you, you can obviously render out uh, if I hide, so I hide that one. They could uh, do that. Did I do that? It's gonna crash. Yeah, so that's just a blue flame. You could render out that separately, and then render out uh, the normal flame as well separately. Um, my problem I've had when I've brought it into a compositor is that when I've composited them back together, obviously the blue and the yellow, it goes a bit green. Um, and I haven't found a way to work around that. Um, so I've been surrendering it out together as one. Um, and you get, you know, a fairly, you know, you don't get any sort of, over the yellows, you get that sort of purpliness, which is nice, rather than the sort of going green. Um, Let's close. Let's minimise that. Uh, so that's that's about it, really. I mean, obviously, you can now. I could go into my. You know, if I crack that up more, I'm going to get more of a red there. If I went into my blue. Um, I think probably I'll do, do it in here. Uh, and then my value, maybe 1.2. See what happens when I do that. You only know, get a bit more of the blue. This doesn't go more than one. Um, so we do that, just get one. So, take that down, disappears, you get a tiny little bit there. Point five. So you can play around like that. Um, but as you can see, it looks really nice when it's rendered out. So that's it really, I'll just quickly go over the graph again. Um, so all I've done is, I've turned on uh, Store Blue Flame here. I've assigned a new material with from the output of the cache uh, with this this other standard volume, which is the blue one, and then in the settings, um, I've put a little bit. I put the voxel combustion rate in the density and the emission. Um, if I hide 
this just so we uh, hit render so we get that um, and I'll just hide the flame as well so we just get the blue flame and then go back to the blue flame um, blue flame here we go if I put this back to zero you do nothing happens here but the, the alpha's gone so if you just put, put that you're going to get alpha back um, if you put it back to full um, oops. That one, no. just do that all channels um, it slightly starts to darken it a bit you can see there um, so I just put a little bit in there just to get a bit of an alpha out of it which you can see there um, so and then just to clarify again it's voxel underscore combustion rate and underscore rate and I put it in the emission and I change that to channel and you just tweak either the value of the color or you can bring this down a bit and that's it <laughs>